Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see from the title of today's video, I'm switching things up a little bit and filming something slightly different to normal. So recently I've seen lots of TikToks that are making the most out of your five to nine. And as someone who works nine till five, I can kind of really relate to these because a lot of times I do just kind of sit there and have plans for the evening and I never accomplish them. And so I thought today I'm gonna make sure that I do make the most out of it because it's so important to me to have a really good work-life balance and not just feel like I'm living at work all of the time. And so I thought I would actually film it for a YouTube video because why not? So as you can see it has just gone five o'clock, it's one minute past five and it's Thursday the 18th of August. I've worked from home today which makes things slightly easier in terms of making the most out of your evening because I'm already here to start off and I don't have that extra half an hour or so commute and Charlie actually goes to football training on Thursday so it means that I have the house to myself. Usually on these sorts of days, rather than spending time together watching telly and things like that, I will make the most out of my individual time and try and focus on some of the hobbies that I have, spend some me time, bit of time relaxing, and today isn't really going to be any different. So to begin the evening with, I am actually going to run a few errands as I've been putting them off for a few days now, so I want to put some washing on before I leave the house, but my main priority tonight is to post some vintage parcels. I'm going to drive to the shop to do that just because I do have a lot that I want to get done tonight and that's just going to speed things up so much more as it usually takes me about half an hour to walk to the shop and half an hour back and I'm not really fancying that this evening but when I get back from the shop I actually have a YouTube video that I want to film I want to film a new look haul I've been getting some new pieces recently or maybe over the last month or so and I know that a lot of them are still available so I want to film a little haul of some things that I've picked up and put that up on my YouTube channel I'm just going to film it tonight I'm not going to edit and then after that I'm just going to kind of see where the evening takes me and I look forward to bringing you all along with me. I'm going to jump straight into the video now so please don't forget to make sure that you've liked, commented and subscribed down below and other than that I suppose better go and get my parcels ready and head off. And here we have the aftermath of me filming my new look haul. Lots of clothes, can't tell which ones are clean and which ones aren't. Also have my tripod and I am now in my pyjamas because I thought I would get myself a little bit more comfortable. Still have a few more YouTube bits to do before dinner but we'll get there eventually. people it has been a little while since i last properly spoke to you it is now oh bang on 25 past seven a little bit later than i would have liked to cook dinner i do usually have it around six o'clock i'd say but i have just spoken to my mum on the phone for about 20 minutes or so which is quite nice i've got a few little bits to show you here that i picked up from the shop couldn't resist getting some treats when i went it's definitely a habit that i should not be getting into so i've got these for myself because we know i am the biggest fan of Kit Kat junkies i then also picked up this dairy milk oreo bar for charlie she used to have this all the time although i feel like it was a different version this one looks like it's got oreo on the inside whereas i think before she had like an actual oreo sandwiched in between but I feel like this would be fairly similar anyway. She loves anything oreo -y. And then I also saw this Haribo Super Mix. And we both absolutely love the little jelly beans. Not jelly beans. The jelly babies inside of these. We think they are divine. And I feel like I'd go as far to say. And I think this might be a little bit controversial. That this is my favourite packet of Haribos. Even over Star Mix and Tang Fastics. I feel like these are the best. I don't know, I feel like that's a little bit controversial to put out there. Anyway, moving on to something slightly more healthier. We're going in for dinner. 
I always cook quite a quick dinner this evening when it's just myself and I don't really have much energy to do stuff with. That's usually how it goes on a Thursday and today is no different. I'll show you what I've got. So on the cards tonight, we've got some king prawns, a Tanya classic. We then also have this golden vegetable whole grain rice. This is absolutely delicious. I picked it up as a one-off on the food shop the other week and really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie, I do usually have this meal with like broccoli or peas, but I do have these tomatoes which are out of date and there's still so many of them left, so I really need to use them up. So I'm gonna cook these prawns. I usually throw in a bit of randomness of all of this bit. This is absolutely beautiful by the way and well worth the money. I like to have a little squirt of lemon too and then these are just standards aren't they? gone half past eight and I finished off my dinner. I've just tidied that up so I spent a little bit of time in the kitchen and I also finished off watching the Ackley Bridge episode that I started. They're only half an hour or so long so it's a really easy thing to watch with your dinner. I feel like half an hour is kind of the cut off point for me to eat a little bit, rest a little bit and then be ready to pack away. So I feel like it's a perfect series to do that with like food and stuff. But I'm really enjoying Ackley Bridge. I've watched all of the previous series so I'm only watching the new one at the moment and even though it's not as good because Missy isn't in it anymore I am still really enjoying it and I would highly recommend you watching it and I was tempted to watch one more episode but I am expecting Charlie to be home at about half past nine and there was one more thing that I wanted to get done whilst I'm enjoying the rest of my peace and quiet and that is to continue with my diamond art. So for my birthday, my best friend Jess got me a diamond art as I've been wanting one for the longest time. And I started it the other evening. I did about 40 minutes on it and it genuinely looks like I've done the smallest portion in the world, even though I didn't stop. So this is definitely gonna be a work in progress. It's gonna take me a long time to get it complete. But I'm really excited to do it because I feel like it gives me that time to wind down on the evenings. Let me quickly show you my diamond art and you can see how far I've got. Here is my diamond art. You can really see the picture from above but when you're down here you can't really see it as much. As you can see I've kind of done a little bit up here. I'm not sure how visible that is on the camera. So I think I'm just going to sit on the floor and do some of this now. I've got all of my little diamonds down here. I'm going to continue with the blue ones that I've already opened just so that they don't get all over the place and I've got so many beads open in so many different places and I'm going to see how much I can get done before Charlie gets home. So the time is now four minutes past 10. As expected, Charlie got back at about half nine and I feel like in between when I started my diamond art and then, I actually made some really good progress. I feel like I was getting every single diamond just in the perfect position so I didn't have to do any moving around which can sometimes be quite tricky. So I'm very happy with my progress on that. Since half nine, we've just been sat on the sofa together Catching up on our days, Charlie finished off the leftover prawns and rice from earlier that I didn't manage to eat and that kind of leads us up until now. I've just made myself a glass of squash and I'm going to pack up this diamond art stuff and put it to one side so that I can get it out again another day and I'm going to head upstairs to bed. My plan was to read a book before bed but I am quite feeling quite tired to be honest so I think it's just going to be a case of getting myself ready for bed, winding down and going straight to sleep. I feel like today has been a long day 
I'm not going to document the rest of my evening because this video was supposed to be five to nine and the previous clip that I showed you of my diamond art was before nine o'clock. Now I'm just kind of coming on to give it a little outro. But I have really enjoyed filming this video. I did have the thought that I sometimes show you my evenings on my weekly vlog so it's not that different to normal. But I suppose it's been nice for you guys to see a little bit more in depth what I get up to on the evenings. And it's also been quite encouraging for me to like stick to my plans that I had. So I'm really glad that I filmed this. Do let me know if you enjoyed it down below in the comments and also don't forget to like and subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any of the similar content to this i do have a few more worky lifestyle videos coming up and then after that a lot of september will be focused around holidays because i have a very big holiday coming up which i am so excited about but i'm gonna stop rambling now so thank you very much for watching this video and joining me on my evening from my five till nine and i look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one Goodbye.